All right, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys something that I think is pretty cool. It's a piece of software, not a plugin, but you can use it within your DAW. Now, you can use this in Studio One and Pro Tools, but in Pro Tools, you might need some additional software. But for now, we're going to focus on Studio One. What am I talking about? We all got 32-bit VST plugins that haven't been updated. And for the most part, companies are starting to drop 32-bit, meaning you can't run those old programs anymore. Hope you got a session, something I'm working on. So I'm going to go to the mixer window and do you guys remember this URS? This company was on top of the game at one point, but they kind of fell off when Avid decided to switch over to AAX. This company decided to stay supporting TDM and RTS and there's nothing wrong with that. We got this fantastic plugin URS BLT. I purchased this a couple of years back and the only way I was able to use it is to use a program like Reaper that has the capability of loading 32 bit and 64 bit plugins. Then you got the AWS like Studio One that in order to load 32-bit plugins, you need to download the 32-bit version. But recently, they completely killed off 32-bit, so you can't open any of these plugins. How was I able to do this? Well, there's a cool piece of software called JBridge, and it's going to let you do that. It's going to let you take those 32-bit plugins and open them in your DAW. And it could do the reverse. If you're using a 32-bit DAW, can take those 64-bit plugins, and you could open them there. Pretty cool stuff. So let me show you how this works. So we're going to go to my start menu and I'm going to look for JBridge. I'm going to open this up and you have some options here. We're going to select 64 bit. And for the most part, I'm going to keep everything at default. I'm going to select this option here. It says highly recommended. And you're going to locate your VST plugins folder. Then you want to create an extra folder. You could call it whatever you want. So the reason for creating an extra folder, the application is taking those 32 bit plugins and doing its magic and creating the 64 bit version. So I'm going to just press OK and it's going to scan. So after it scans, open your DAW. Currently, I'm inside of Pro Tools. You might be asking, wait a minute, Pro Tools is unable to open VSTs. And you're right. But there are a few third-party applications out there that will allow you to host VSTs within Pro Tools. And check this out. I'm able to use URS within Pro Tools. So now we're going to load a different plugin. We're going to click this SSL folder. So I have this error here. This probably means I need to run the program as admin. That's fine. It still works. How many of you guys remember this? This was a free plugin. I'm not sure if you could find this anymore. SSL released around three plugins that were free. As you can see, I'm able to use this old plugin, 32-bit plugin, with inside Pro Tools or any other 64-bit DAW. So remember, this plugin also will work with a 32-bit DAW. So if you want to load that 64-bit plugin, you're also able to do that. So the only thing that's left is for you to come to this website, download the demo, and give it a try. But what this program can do is definitely worth every penny.